Hi and welcome back to another workshop, Creative Violin Workshop. And what are we going to talk about today? Well, it's going to be a little shorter workshop than usual, but this is going to be about the most common mistakes with string crossings. What a title. Okay, um, so what is what are the string crossings? What do I mean with that? That's when I mean, I got the question in the Facebook uh, Facebook group today that is when um, when you move the same finger to another string there that's what I call a string crossing second finger like that okay the string crossing so there's a lot that co can go wrong and there's a lot that goes wrong um, so I'm gonna deal with these little mistakes so you're aware of that when you have to deal with a string crossing, right? Okay, well, first of all, the first thing that happens is if I play, for instance, the first finger on the A string, like that, and I want to go to the D string and then to the G string, and maybe you can already see what's happening here. I'm turning my hand to the G string. Well, that's mistake number one, because if you keep the, the index finger um, magneted to the, to the nut of the violin like that, if you keep it there, then you're gonna turn your finger to the G string and you can see this here works as a pivot point. And here the needle of the pivot is moving in a circle like that. So you can see the placement of the first finger um, on the G string is much lower than the placement on the A string. Can you see that? Okay, look at that. So if I'm gonna play this first finger, you hear it, right? That's where it should be, but it ended up here because we were turning the hand to the G string. Okay, how are we gonna avoid that? More important, right? We always wanna know how to fix it. Well, here's how. You need to know that you have to place your finger to the next string, place them sideways. So, I have this little shot here. You can see this here, the finger turning around like that, right? And we need to place it straight. So we need to place the first finger sideways. So it may feel maybe that you stretch a little bit more on the G string, stretch the first finger a little bit more on the G string. It may feel like that. Maybe it is like, like that. So place it sideways. Okay, and now for the second finger, if we place the second, the, the first finger sideways like that, it's on the correct position, then this is going to work as a reference point, reference point, how do you say that? For the second finger, because the second finger, the distance between one and two should be this distance. I know that. Muscle memory. And then it's going to be on the same place as well. Got it? So. Don't turn the hand like that, but place them sideways. And the best way you can do that is pick it up and put it down again instead of just sliding it over like that. So sliding it over like that gives you this. And picking it up, picking it up like that. Got it? Okay. Let me know in the comments. This is a workshop. You play along with me. I hope you're doing that. Let me know in the comments. I think I can read the comments today again. So um, it's all a live workshop. So uh, if you have any questions, let me hear that. Okay, that's for the first finger. Place it sideways. So you're gonna pick it up and put it down on the next string. Pick it up, put it sideways and back again. Well, let's practice this and see that you have that straight line which I'm drawing there in red. If you have any comments, let me know. Okay, got it? Sideways. Is this going right? So no turning anymore. 
sideways. And if we place the second finger, it's going to be on the correct position. If I'm going to turn my finger here and I'm placing the second finger, it's going to be too low as well. Logic, isn't it? Okay. So we're going to stick to that sideways. How are you doing on that one? Sideways. And you can test it as well. can hear it. If I'm doing it wrong, then you got it. Sideways. And then the second finger adds to it. Okay. Now that's uh, that's one thing. So you, you, we need the reference, reference uh, of the first finger for the second and place that first finger sideways. You place it on the correct position on the G and on the D string. That's where this little mistake occurs because of the pitching. All right, like that. Now the next thing that can go wrong, and let's go to fingers uh, two and three maybe. Now, let me just show you that the uh, angle of the finger is the finger is pointing this way if i would just place it naturally i would place it like that now can you see what happens now and this happens a lot i'm telling you otherwise i wouldn't be showing you this video <laughs> this this placement there and also the second finger you have to place it sideways maybe one and two together it's even better there. So if you're going to place, we, we need to play uh, like that. I don't know what song, but not important, right? And then I see that. Now you can hear it, see? Really, I'm, I'm not exaggerating. I see this quite a lot. So also for the second finger, don't stretch it. Or if you leave the first finger on the string, just place the second, and now sideways. Now it feels that you're stretching a little bit, and that's good, because otherwise it's gonna pivot all the way down again, if you keep the first finger there. Got it? So yeah, you, you see it going already. So also place it sideways. And on the G string, it's a little bit further away, so it's gonna feel that you stretch it a little bit more. But you have to sort of get the feeling of this but know that if this is right sideways sideways right okay and this also happens uh, the other way around if I'm gonna place uh, the second finger on the E string sometimes I see it like this see also sideways so it works both ways like that or all the way sideways that's really important okay very short one do you have any questions anybody if you have any questions i can see the comments now and if not that's the only thing i wanted to uh to show you and let you avoid this quite common mistake placing the finger sideways all right I'm getting no uh, questions. Um, if you are um, if you are on the uh, on YouTube, you can ask questions there as well. I'm going to keep the video there uh, and also on the uh, in the Facebook page, Facebook group. You can ask the question. Ah, there is Ray. Yes, you are the one who asked the question. Well, how about that? <laughs> what a coincidence! But um, I hope you uh, understand now how to how to do it. So. It is not a, qu a question about shifting the, the fingers uh, over because then you're going to have that turning, uh, the, the, the pivot like that, but you place them. So pick them up and place them like that. Ah, yeah, I forgot something. Uh, if, you, um, if you have to play two strings, maybe you can play two strings, place the finger on two strings. 
and then you can you can move that really sweet okay how did you get so flow changing screens using the first finger well uh, it's just like or just like I said maybe you can place them on both strings there you go thank you Nicole <laughs> really good so um, that's how you can do that uh, on both strings. So you can place the finger on two strings, then you're gonna have it really smooth. But always remember to pick it up and place it sideways, that's it. Okay, if there are no more questions, then I'm gonna sign off and hope to see you next week with the next episode. I hope to be there next week, 17th, isn't it? You'll be noticed. And if you're on Facebook, or on YouTube, hit the subscribe hit the bell button and you're going to be notified um, if i'm going to be when i'm going to be live again and uh, so do that and on facebook you're going to get no not uh, notification anyway so uh, hope to see you back there and spread the news and if you want to follow the lessons at creativeviolin.com if you're not already there then i want to welcome you at the complete uh, beginners course also an improvisation course, but this is for the beginners. So if you want to follow the course, be there. Okay. Hope to see you next time. God bless and till then. Bye-bye.